Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial on our daily functions. Uh, in today's function we're going to go ahead and build a hydroplane function which will uh, figure out the speed at which an aircraft or a vehicle will start the hydroplane at what speed. So to do this we're going to use an equation that's 8.52 times the square root of the vehicle's tire pressure. All right, and that will be the uh, minimum speed at which the vehicle would hydroplane or, or could hydroplane. Now, that's this is not an exact science, it's a rule of thumb. It's mainly used in the aviation community. Um, so, I don't suggest you go out and try this after you create your uh, function and try to figure out at which speed your car is going to hydroplane because that probably wouldn't be a good idea. So, I take no responsibilities and anybody who goes out and tries to do this. All right, so to get started, first off, we're gonna um, import square root from the math module. So we'll do uh, from math import uh, sqrt. So we're gonna import the square root function from the math module. Now we are going to go ahead and create our function. So def now we're going to do we're going to call our function hydro plane all right and it's going to take one parameter and that's going to be pressure which is our tire pressure and put a colon at the end all right now we're going to use a try statement and we're using this try statement to check to make sure the object type is either an integer or a floating point number if it's not either one of them our function will fail and we'll return a warning message all right so um, we're going to create a variable to hold the value of it at what or hold our speed. So we'll call this variable speed. All right. Now we're going to um, multiply 8.52 by sqrt, the square root of our tire pressure. So pressure. All right. And then down here we're just going to do uh, speed is equal to round it or round speed to the nearest whole number or I could have put round around here but we'll do that in a later tutorial this is just to uh, I'll keep it like this just so you guys understand what what we're doing here so we're gonna round speed and then we're gonna get the whole number all right so then we'll come down here and we'll do the accept clause and this is gonna be type R all right so we'll return if we get a type error, like for example, if a user puts in a list or a string, we, we will get an error, so we want to be able to handle that. So down here we'll do speed is equal to a uh, string, actually. You entered the wrong type, object type. All right, and then we're just going to come down here and return speed. There you go, there is our hydroplaning function. Now let's go ahead and run it and test it out. So I'm gonna do from, uh, what did I call this? I called it hydroplane underscore function dot py. That's my file name. So we're gonna do from hydroplane underscore function. We're gonna import hydro me. All right. Um, now we'll, we'll do hydro, oops, hydro clean, and we'll put a. I don't know what the normal tire pressure is, but I'll say something like uh, let's say forty. All right. So at fifty-four miles an hour, uh, a tire pressure of forty will start the hydroplane. All right. Um, let's try one with. A type error so we'll do I just plain and then we'll say inside a list we have 40 and hit return you entered the wrong object type so this is a list that has a 4 in it and you entered the wrong object type all right so that's a hydroplaning function in Python if you got any questions please let me know don't forget to like the video don't forget to share it and if you have any ideas for a function please let me know I'll see you in the next tutorial